Hello guys, this is Mirage again with another Photoshop tutorial on how to create a cinematic effect in Photoshop. Right now I'm using Photoshop CS5, but you could use this from any CS version from CS2 to CS5. In order to get the cinematic effect, what you need to do first is to get a stock. What I, after you have done that, you want to make sure that you have Navigator on the right. If you don't, go to Window and click on navigator. Once you get the navigator just zoom up until you see pixels around the character because the character is going to be your main focal in this picture. Once you have zoomed up enough to see the little pixels around the character what you want to do is use the pen tool and click around the outline of the character. I've already create a vector mask. So after you're done selecting around the character, you will get lines around the character like this. After you get these lines, using the pen tool, right click and click make selection. After you click uh, selection, it'll say how much do you want to feather the selection. Just click zero and press OK. After you made the selection, use the selection tool right click and click inverse selection select inverse now the selection is going to be around the whole image it's not going to choose a character but now it's going to choose the background around the character now go to filter blur and lens blur you should have a pop-up window such as this one. In order to create a blur, what you want to do is you want to set the ra rotation to around 15 and mess around with the radius. The radius controls how much you want to blur the signature. For this one, I thought the right amount for um, this picture was around 30. Once you have done that, just press OK. And deselect this selection. Now you should have some nice depth around the focal of your picture. Now go to, now click the uh, little uh, black and white icon on the bottom right and click Reading Maps. Choose black and white as your first preset and press OK. Keeping it in normal, make the opacity about 25%. Now create another gradient map, but this time make it black and blue. You want to make it around a teal blue though, so like that would be good. Press OK. Put it on color. At around 15%. Now create another gradient map. And this time. Make it bright green and bright blue put the hue on 26% and select inverse now create another reading map but this time make it orange and purple S set this on soft light at 75 percent you should get some nice warm colors now create another green map and this time make it black and gold put it on color 
with 30%. And last but not least, create another waiting map. And this time make it this blue, red, and yellow preset. Now you want to do is move the red and the blue over and click at the edge of the preset to create another box. Make sure they're pretty equal in size. Instead of red, let's make it orange. Bright orange should be the best for this um, effect. Put on lighten and lower the opacity. You'll notice as you lower the opacity, it'll, it makes the image brighter. So we want to keep, we don't want to make it too bright, so we want to keep it around 5%. So I'm going to put it at 4 is good. Um, now what you want to do is you want to go on Google and search for star stocks, such as this one. Take the stock image and put it over the um, over your image and click on color dodge lower the opacity and start erasing all the stars in the character After you have done that, start erasing some of the very bright stars because they will cause some trouble in the uh, lighting. So let's just get those out of the way. Lower the opacity. don't want too many stars um, just keep a few that should be good enough um, now cre uh, create a new layer go to image apply image Sorry about that. Let's try that again. Image, apply image, and go to filter, render, lighting effects. Now, if you see this image, the light is coming out from the top left. So, you want to make the light source come out from the same direction. Just widen the soft light to about the corners of the image and place it to where you think the lighting would be the best. Um, you want to turn up wide a little so you could focus more on the character. Turn down positive, only a little though. Put on over to add more light and a little more full to add more light also and press OK. Now, you could put it on multiply to make it a little darker and lower the opacity. Or you can put on lighten to make it a little brighter and lower the opacity. But this mainly depends on your image and what you want to do. Or you could just keep it normal and lower the opacity. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on normal and lower the opacity to around. 50%. That's like the before and the after. Now create a new image, apply image again, and click on filter, sharpen, and sharpen the edges. Now create the rectangular tool and create the letterbox 
are on top and on the bottom. You want to keep it approximately the same size on top as the bottom. There we go. And that's how you create a Photoshop cinematic effect in Photoshop.